Hi there, Vamsi here from SmartDSProxy.com and chances are most of you guys are probably quarantined at home just like me. Times are tough right now, you know, you just gotta isolate at home and watch Netflix. And most of you guys are probably doing that with Google Hangouts to watch it with your friends and family or even your significant other who's really far away. And there's quite a few ways that you can actually do that. We even did a video on it back in the day to watch it on your smartphone using the Rave app. But for desktop, the popular one is the Netflix Party Chrome extension. But due to the heavy volume of users, you know, everyone's at home now, the service is suffering quite a bit and it's quite evident from the recent reviews. I mean, it didn't work for me from the ratings alone. So to deal with it, here are two other ways that you can watch Netflix on your desktop. Stream Party works in a similar way to the Netflix Party extension. Since this is a Chrome extension, you can download it and use it on any operating system, be it Mac or Windows. All you need is a Chrome browser and install the Chrome extension from the link in the description below. Once you have the extension installed, it'll ask you to sign up. If you don't, the extension won't work. So, you know, sign up and then sign in and then head over to your Netflix website. Log in and play the video that you want to stream Next, click on the Stream Party extension icon and click on the Start Party button. It'll generate a share URL that you'll need to share with your friends. Now I'll move on to the second computer, which will be your friend's computer. So I'll click on the link and it won't sync as of now. So to do so, your friend needs to install the same extension from the Chrome and create an account. Once they do the same and click on the extension, now it'll sync up perfectly. Stream Party also provides a chat window on the right side, which is quite handy. There's no limit on the number of people who can watch it together. However, each one of them needs to have a Netflix account, or you can use the same account, but have two to four screen plan to go with. Apart from this, there isn't any problem with the extension. So overall, like Netflix Party, you can send messages in the chat room, although no video chat though, and it works on Netflix and YouTube as well. However, there are a few caveats, you know, like every person needs to have a Netflix account and you'll have to create a new chat room every time you want to watch a new movie. But most importantly, there's no support for smartphone or TV. And that's where our second method comes in. So for the previous extension to work, you'll need to have multiple Netflix accounts. However, in case you only have a single Netflix account and you still want to watch Netflix with your loved ones, you can use Cast. Cast is a rebranded version of the popular movie streaming app Rabbit. However, unlike Rab.it, which was mostly dedicated to video streaming, Cast lets you share your entire desktop. Think of it like a desktop sharing app like TeamViewer, but for media streaming. So in order to use Cast, you need to install the desktop app if you're the host of the Netflix session. However, your partner can just use the web version and all they have to do is watch. So I'll install the app to show you. Once the app opens, it'll ask you to create an account. So just do that. And when you enter the app, you have to create your own group and then invite your friend by sending them a URL or search them with their username. Once you create the room, click on the record icon at the bottom. You can either choose to go full screen or you can choose just the application. I'll recommend the application option since it allows you to chat simultaneously. And on the other hand, the other option gets hidden in full screen mode. Your friend will be able to watch everything that's happening on your screen, including the audio. I've been using this for a while and the lag is really minimal. And the best part is, since this is basically screen recording, many people can join in without having a Netflix account. In fact, it works pretty much for anything. Overall, these services are relatively new and the volume of users are quite low at the moment. But, you know, as it gets more popular, the traffic's gonna go up and it might not work. But in that case, do let us know in the comment section below if you do face that issue, because we'll be updating this video with a new one when other ways come up to watch Netflix, you know, with your significant other or friends and family far away. While you're at it, check out smartdsproxy.com to unblock dual-restricted content on your sites like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Apple TV, Disney+, Plus. there's a bunch of those and you get to unblock all of them for about five bucks a month, which is bugger all year. There's even a 14 day free trial, which is pretty amazing. As always, I'm Vamsi, and if you're new here, click on that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Also, self-isolate, 
wash your hands. Listen to me, it's about time you did.